Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and joining me today on the summit is Mark Barakoff, who was announced on Friday as the new head men's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University. Congratulations, Coach. Hey, thank you, man. It's, it's an honor. It's uh, it's pretty cool to be uh, having that name behind you now, so I'm, I'm excited. And, and you already have it emblazoned on the chest there, too. you got the Oklahoma City, uh, the blue, and the basketball. I, what a great program it is. I know we're going to get to talk about that a little bit later on. But, you know, you come to OCU from Randall University, most recently there, nine seasons with the Saints, and it's just 15 miles down the road in Moore, Oklahoma. Three national titles there, 2016, 17, and 18, a national runner-up finish as well in the NCCAA. It looks like you're leaving that program in good shape. You know, I, I hope so. I mean, whenever you leave some someplace, you want to make sure that it's left in good hands. And I think, Randall, we, we established our name there pretty well. And whoever's going to take that job over is going to, going to walk into something pretty good. There's a lot of good players left. And the program's in really good shape. So I'm excited for the next person to come there. OCU last season, the men's basketball team had a record of two and six. And and with all the COVID stops and starts along the way and postponements and cancellations and all that went into the season, I really was glad there was a season. But I don't know that you can read too much into that record. What do you know about the Stars right now? Yeah, with COVID, it's it's hard to judge anything with, with COVID because everybody went through different things with COVID. Some had it, some didn't. Um, I know they've got talented players. It's, it's Oklahoma City University, so um, there's always going to be talent there. I mean, I've talked to a few of the guys. They seem real excited and really want to get to work. And, and I, I think for me, it's I, I want to bring back the tradition of the program. And, and it's, it's such a highly regarded program. And just because maybe the last two years have been not, not where they want it to be, that's fine with me. I mean, we can go in there and we can build. And, and that's the exciting part of it, that uh, there's kids excited to get the program back to where it needs to be. We're speaking now with Mark Barakoff here on the summit, and I do encourage you, please do subscribe to the channel Midwest Sportsnet. We would appreciate that. Coach Barakoff, a two-time National Coach of the Year in the NCCAA. And Coach, you bring a lot of experience from so many levels. I know that's not an age joke, by the way. I'm not I'm not leading into that, I promise. <laughs> but uh, but I know you do have a lot of experience. I mean, NCAA Division One to high school, to professional, to the NCCAA, now uh, heading into the NAIA. Uh, how do you feel like like you are prepared for this next challenge? You know, all that means is I've seen a lot of basketball. That means you're old. Um, no, you yeah, know, I wasn't I've pushing a, toward that. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the nice thing is I've been, I've been in around a lot of people at a lot of different levels. Division one. Um, I mean, if you watched Oregon state play, one of the guys that helped Oregon state was Kerry Rupp. I worked for him at Louisiana tech. He was, he was on the bench at Oregon state last night. Um, Texas State, being in the Southland, I got to see a lot of different basketball there. Um, high school, uh, AAU, professionally, you name it. I, I mean, I've just seen a lot of basketball. I've been around a lot of good people. So I, I don't want to say nothing can surprise me, but I, when you've done it for 20, I think this was my 25th year of doing this, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, I've got a lot of experience or at least age experience behind me coming into a new job. So um, I've got that going for me at least. Well, I, I want to talk about the tradition that you mentioned at Oklahoma City University. And, and you know, you, you are going to walk into the Freed Center. I know you already have. I'm sure you've already you had the tour and walked around and seen the, the facilities. And obviously, you know, you know about OCU from being just down the road there as well. But, I mean, you're going into the Freed Center. You're actually going to be coaching in Abe Lemons Arena, who is one of uh, the great and storied coaches of college basketball. Uh, and, and, of course, Talk about what it means then to to do that with not only his name on the building, all the banners that hang from the rafters there as well, and and what that means to get to be a part of that now. Well, we'll start with 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 coach. I mean, what is it? Six hundred wins. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can't compare yourself to that. So number one, you, you got to just understand that the guy's a legend. Yeah. Uh, so that's it, it. It is cool that that's where you're going to be coaching a guy that's won so many games and has meant so much to basketball. Um, two, the facility is, is incredible. Um, I mean, I loved Randall's facility. It was small and we sold it out all the time, but going from that to, to Abe Lemons arena, I mean, that's awesome. It's a beautiful arena and, and the banners hanging up there just tells you just how good Oklahoma city in all athletics has been. 
and the tradition there. And it's the home of champions. And it's that, that, that's what makes me so excited to be at Oklahoma City University is, is the tradition, the players that have played there, the, the coaches. Um, one of my really good friends used to coach at Oklahoma City, Vinay Patel. So um, I was able to go to his games. And of course, Randall, we played Oklahoma City. We played all the teams in, in the sack. So um, no, I'm, I'm excited. It, it's, it's, I mean, kind of, I can't believe it's really happening type of a thing, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm pumped. I'm really excited. Yes. And, and by the way, Coach Patel, fantastic coach. Great guy, too. Really, really appreciate him. Uh, he, uh, with what you have coming in now, and we're in late March, just about into April. And again, we go back and say there have been changes and everything with COVID has been stops and starts. And so this wouldn't be, I'm sure, what you would normally think of as a recruiting time. So how do you see that role right now? Uh, are, are you behind the game or is it just part of 2021 now and recruiting and getting to put your stamp on the program? I wouldn't say behind the game. I mean, with when COVID hit last year around this time, uh, I thought we were really behind the game because we, we didn't have any recruits and COVID. It was, I didn't know what COVID was going to mean or bring mm -hmm. um, with, if, if anybody's going to be behind the ball, it's going to be all coaches because of with the new eligibility rule that everybody gets their year back. Yeah. So I think if anything, that's going to be that's going to be the fight to try to see which kids are. Well, there's a ton of kids leaving. So in, in sense of there's a lot of kids out there that are looking for a place. But with getting your year back, it kind of makes it a little bit interesting to see who falls where. And, and no, not behind. We're not behind. I mean, you could go all the way into July and still find players. Um, and I don't even know who I mean, I won't know really until a couple of days about the roster and and get to see <laughs> our own guys play now. So. Uh, no, we're, we're not behind the ball. You, when you're Oklahoma City, you can get players. So I'm not too concerned about that. I understand. I understand. Well, Coach, I know that the schedule has not yet been posted, and I know that's a long ways away. But uh, do, do you do you know anything right. about that? And just or just the anticipation level, or you know what what are you doing now to build toward the summer and into next fall? And I, I'm hoping and, and believing that things will be closer to what we know as normal heading into 21 22. Yeah, I, I sure hope so. I'm kind of tired of uh, the COVID and. <laughs> All this stuff is a lot. I'm sure everybody else is. Um, in terms of the schedule, I really don't know other than the the conference schedule. Um, and this is the best, one of the best NEI leagues in the country. And uh, so I know what I'm getting myself into because, I mean, I've played Mac U and USAO and John Brown and Oklahoma City. So I, I know it's going to be, it's a gauntlet of a schedule. There's no easy night uh, top to bottom in this league. Uh, in terms of non-league, I have no clue what we're going to be doing non-league. I, I, I don't, but I'm excited. Um, it's just a great opportunity. I'm thankful that, that Oklahoma City thought I was the person to lead the program. So I'm excited. Well, I'll, I'll leave you with this question then, Coach, and I, I ask this somewhat regularly, so I'd, I'll give you the opportunity to answer it as well. When the OCU fans come in, and again, we're hoping to get to fill Abe Lemons Arena with those fans. When they come in, what will they see in a Coach barakoff led team? Passion, excitement. I mean, just how my teams have always played. Um, I, I always want to try to say our teams are unselfish, very unselfish. We love to pass the ball. We run, run exciting stuff. We play excite, exciting basketball, and we play with passion. And I, I hope the way we play will represent the name on the jersey. And, and that's, that's what the goal is going to be. I'd love to bring the excitement back to Oklahoma City University basketball. Well, I look, look forward to getting to see one of your teams play here in the upcoming season uh, when that rolls around, and we'll try to get that schedule out. Coach Mark Barakoff, the new head men's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Yeah, thank you.